Well, for those of you looking to tune your own car, I've been playing with this thing uh, over the last week or so, and it's actually awesome. Uh, so this is the Tuner Nerd Knock Monitor Pro, and this is the V4. I have a V2 or a V3, uh, but this new V4 is actually a whole lot nicer and easier to use. All of the audio and everything is handled through the unit itself and not through a laptop, which makes a big difference in setting up the microphones and the speakers and all of that. So uh, that part of it is great. It's touchscreen. Uh, it has a nice connector on it. It's easy to set up and configure. So I'll be using this a ton in my training course. And I have everything set up on uh, quick release connectors in my car so that I can just effortlessly pop this in without having to uh, essentially reinstall it each time. So we'll definitely use this a lot. And ironically in that car, uh, it's currently just running a Holly base map. And uh, using this was able to confirm that the, essentially the wizard file that's in the car knocks like crazy. So uh, we'll dive way deeper into setting all this up and kind of show you that process, uh, show you what knock is. Uh, you can actually see on one screen, it will show you when the car is knocking. On another screen, you can see the audio waveforms. And then obviously you can listen to the knock and it's clear as day when a car is knocking when it's not. And then you can also uh, export files. So we'll have audio files and stuff in the training. So uh, this thing is gonna be a ton of fun to play with. I think this is gonna be roughly 600-ish dollars, which obviously is a whole lot cheaper than a new motor. And it's an awesome tool to kind of learn what works, what doesn't, and to essentially see when you're playing with fire. So uh, I'm actually really excited to play with this. You can see it has engine RPM. I actually set that up using an output from the ECU. So obviously I haven't mounted this thing yet, but the other thing that's cool is you can plug headphones into it. And then obviously you can listen to the files. So you can listen to it real time or you can listen to a log like I'm doing now. And that run was dead clean. There was no knock on that one. So now we can build a threshold curve based off of that. This thing's gonna be a lot of fun to play with. Uh, the older models were really great, but the setup and stuff was, it wasn't something that you're gonna wanna set up on multiple cars because it was a bit of a pain. But with this one, I think you can just pop it in, uh, do what you need to do and pop it back out and set it up on the next one since everything is contained within the unit itself and not having to do it through the laptop. Uh, but it does have laptop based software. But again, all the audio is handled through the unit and then exported into the software. If you have one for yourself, obviously you're going to like it. You're going to learn a lot. And even if not, um, you know, being able to watch me play with it, I think uh, everybody should be able to learn a lot. So pretty excited to play with this.